this film, it isn't about bad and it isn't about good. It is about the bad and a good man. In many ways, this story is kind of like a Greek tragedy. The characters are smart, they think five steps ahead, but they think at some point they're only potent and they, they think they can control everything. There is emotional violence in the film. There is other kinds of violence. At the same time, there's a lot of love and tenderness. And this film is both a crime story and a love story, and I love it when we can go back and forth between those two genres. is not only starring in this film, he is a producer on this project. Not only is it wonderful to work with him because he's just a wonderful human being and great to work with, but also because he is a very knowledgeable producer. All these years of working in this business have taught him a lot. Siberia is a project that I developed with our producing partner, Stephen Hamill, and uh, we spoke about it, and then he went and uh, searched for a writer and uh, found Scott B. Smith. And so uh, Scott and I and Steven, over the course of about a year, did a treatment, went through ideas, and then Scott uh, went off and wrote um, an incredible screenplay. What did you do? Keanu had seen my first film, Frank and Lola, and he was traveling to New York, uh, which is where um, I live. And I'd gotten to Siberia to read um, right before a meeting. We had a terrific meeting in New York. You know, his film, Frank and Lola, had great taste and was moving and was intimate. And so then Stephen and I kind of spoke about it and thought that we'd be lucky to have it. In very short order, uh, the film came together. It's sort of an interesting experience. My first film took the better part of 10 years to get made. And between meeting Keanu uh, and going to prep was about four months on this. So it really just came together very quickly. And with Matthew also, you know, was Eric Koretz, who had done the cinematography. Siberia is stylized in, in terms of the look. There's a rawness and a grittiness to it, you know, based off of the surroundings and uh, based off of what the characters go through. Eric Kortz is the cinematographer on this film. We have a very similar um, approach to filmmaking, which is uh, visual references from our favorite movies. We draw from a very wide palette, both sort of tonally, color-wise, story-wise, to do what we do. He's gonna say his line, and then the dogs are gonna bark. Yvonne, after Yvonne says his line, we need to cut him out of the shot because then we won't have to worry where the dogs are anymore. This is our second film together. We learned to work together on the fly and sort of go into a location in the morning and we had an idea of what we wanted to do, but let, really let the actors sort of play out how they were gonna block the scene and then really figure out what the best angles were to get to tell the story. Americans. You think money solves everything. Lucas has done on different levels some bad things, but they have circumstances to them. When he meets Katya, there's something very internal about him, and, and, and she brings out something that he's never experienced before. Um, and it happens to coincide with the most dangerous and stressful experience of his life. What would you do if I asked you to sleep with me? She is a um, girl with some kind of moxie, I'd say, and she falls completely in love with him and is ready to throw it all to the wind and then she sort of gets more involved than she thought she would into a world that's not akin to her in any way. Anna is a force. Anna comes from Romania, grew up in an artist family. She speaks five languages. She's been acting since she's a child. She is a really hard worker which I also adore in her, on top of her phenomenal talent and her fearlessness. The beauty is she's so fearless. You know, being in the moment and having that be important and the intimacy and the connection 
Um, it's been a real pleasure to be in those scenes with her. You know, Matthew says action, and then this kind of alchemy and chemistry kind of happens. How you say in English, good news, bad news? Which do you want first? Give me the good. I do not hate you yet. I think all interesting characters are versatile and they are complex and they don't have this white hat or black hat that they put on. There are no villains and there are no true heroes. The people are in, in fiction that we most identify with, they're, they're symphonies. They're not a solo. Is your wife a good woman? Very much so. Here you are. I think Lucas is a good man who's done some things that he regrets and is haunted by the guilt of those bad decisions, but I think his intentions are pure. Katya and Lucas become, in a way, kind of Romeo and Juliet, you know, they're kind of on this island, but the circumstances really kind of are forces that are fighting them being together. This love that this woman has for him is, in a way, his redemption. The fact that he can inspire this all the way across the world in a frozen, rather unhappy place is his redemption.